everybody, it's Dr. Joe here on this uh, wonderful Wednesday. I hope that uh, you are having a great day and hope that all is well on your front. And it's been a good week for me. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's all good. So anyway, um, today we're going to talk about uh, the power of education and networking and, uh, and really how it, it can help you fast track your journey to financial independence. And uh, it, it really has been a key to my uh, ability to, to do what I had to do. I mean, when I first came here, I didn't know anything about real estate. Uh, as I said, you know my story. Uh, my boss, uh, the guy who I worked for at the time, he had like 10 houses, and I just couldn't fathom how anybody could do that. And uh, he's the one that uh, told me to explore real estate. And whatever I do, make sure I bought houses. I started early. Uh, I bought more and I should keep my houses. So that's the words of wisdom that uh, my boss, um, you know, shared with me when I first arrived in the U S over 35 years ago. And, um, and, you know, and so as time goes by, I reflect on some of my journey, my trials and tribulation and realize that, uh, the only reason I've been able to build this portfolio and also to be able to uh, achieve financial independence through passive real estate income um, was through education, learning, and also networking. Uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today. And uh, as you can see from the ticker that's going underneath, uh, we will. I'm having um, an event this, uh, this Saturday uh, between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, here in Washington, D.C. at one of my properties. So it gives a chance for people to see what I do in real time, see all my properties. Um, it, it, we turn this three bedroom, one bath house into a six bedroom, four and a half bath house. Amazing. So uh, if you come on Saturday, you'll get a chance to 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 walk through my one of my properties. Uh, I've had this property for about 21 years. And, uh, and during that time, I think I've had about three tenants. So averaging around seven years per tenant. And uh, so I'll be talking about that, how I found this house, how I sort of transformed it into a, a, a beautiful home and uh, I really do a deep dive as to what it takes to, uh, you know, to do this. And, uh, and I'll be sharing with you my experiences, my lessons learned and uh, essentially talk about it from four perspectives, having the right mindset, uh, which is key now. I mean, I didn't have it at the time. Uh, but how that's really important, having the right mindset uh, to be able to do this and how you run this business, because uh, buy and hold is a business and you have to see it that way and treat it that way. And then also making sure that you buy the right properties, uh, the kind of properties that uh, allow you to attract uh, the right tenant, which is part three. And then when you attract the right tenant, then through screening and managing that relationship, then you can then implement the right systems in order to, uh, you know, to automate as much as possible a lot of the day-to-day -day operations of your business. So that's what we're going to talk about on Saturday. Uh, and you'll get a chance to uh, visit the property. You can pick my brain. Uh, also, we're going to be networking with uh, like-minded people. So I think I'm really excited by it. And uh, if you uh, are interested, then please go to my website, joeasimo.com, www.joeasimo.com. There's also a link in the chat box where you can press it and sign up for the event uh, on Saturday. It's going to be here in Washington, D.C. So hopefully, if you can make it, I definitely look forward to meeting you. Um, you know, I think it's time that we all get together and meet and, uh, and share ideas and uh, learn and network and hopefully grow our business. And so that's what we're going to do on Saturday between 11 and 1 p.m. So let's get down to elevate your real estate game, the duo, the dynamic duo of uh, education and uh, learning. So the world of real estate, you know, I said uh, my journey, uh, I couldn't have done it by myself. Um, you know, I couldn't have done it and just figured it out. I had to learn the hard way. And uh, I didn't know what I was doing when I first started. I didn't know anything. I just bought a house. Uh, I didn't know anything about tenants. I had to screen tenants, how to manage tenants, how to I, I just didn't know anything. And uh, and that's where I realized that, you know, there's, there's got to be a better way. And I, I did that through education. So 
you know, education and networking really is uh, is the key uh, that I would suggest that uh, you integrate uh, as you continue on your journey. Because networking is really, in, it's, it's a, I see it as an indispensable tool for real estate professionals like you and I, uh, because it helps you build valuable connections. But also you can learn from experienced people, people who have uh, made mistakes like myself, people who have uh, learned, hopefully, uh, their lesson. And hopefully uh, you can uh, learn from them so you don't make the same mistakes. You know, as a, uh, a wise man once told me, a saying goes anyway, a wise man learns from his mistakes, you know, learns from his mistakes. We should always learn from our mistakes. But a genius learns from other people's mistakes, learns from other people. So the idea is to learn from other people's mistakes so we don't have to make the same mistakes ourselves. That's the key of it. And that's what uh, the power of networking allows you to do. Uh, so, I mean, there's different ways to network. Obviously, you can participate in real estate uh, events like the one I'm doing on Saturday. Uh, there are You can engage in online forums. There's lots of online forums out there. And I'll talk about some of those uh, a bit later on. And also you can join communities, communities of like-minded people, people who are just like you who are trying to strive and uh, you know with the same goals, same objectives as you are. And you can be a part of that community so you can all grow together. So these are the avenues because it really does expand not only just your, exp uh, your, your network, it also gives you insights uh, to more seasoned investors and uh, and linked to together will help you help you sorry uh, propel your uh, real estate journey to new heights. So let's kind of talk about uh, the power of real estate network in a bit more detail. So different ways to do that networking. Uh, I'm going to talk about first of all uh, build a rope building uh, a robust network building your network assuming you don't know anybody uh you're starting from ground zero how do you build a robust networking okay so what i mean by that is forging meaningful relationships with individuals who share your passion for real estate investing okay so that's the idea here you, you're talking we're talking about uh connecting with people who are swimming and striving in the same direction that you're trying to go how do you do that? These, uh, this has involved people like uh, um, fellow investors, real estate agents in this industry, stakeholders. This is what I'm talking about here in terms of building your robust network. How do you do that? Uh, and I'll get to that. Oops, I'll get to that in a, in, a, in a second. But what it does is that a strong network. It's, it, it allows you to develop a support system, okay? Uh, a support system is very important. There have been many, many a times, um, you know, I've, I've wondered, I question myself, you know, why, why am I doing this? Um, you know, uh, hold on a second. Hello. Okay, just bear with me a second if you can see me. Um, and uh, hopefully this issue will get resolved in a second. Bear with me a second. Again, apologies. This is Dr. Joe. Looks like I have a little technical issue here, but uh, I'm going to keep on going up in a second and uh, we'll continue. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see me, um, but uh, it looks like uh, my computer is acting a little funny right now. So uh, let me just keep going. Anyway, um, so uh, as you can see, uh, we need to build a robust, uh, there it looks like it's going okay, I think. Uh, apologies there, it looks like we're having a little technical issue here. 
Uh, but anyway, building a robust network. How do we do that? And what's the purpose and what's the goal of doing that? And uh, so what it does, it allows us to, you know, build a support system. These are people who uh, can help you on your journey. There's been many times where, um, you know, it's been a lonely road. Uh, I've run into challenges and I was wondering, you know, why, you know, why am I doing this? You know, and uh, is this really what I want to do? So it's good to have a support network uh, of people who you can count on, who can give you advice of people who are a bit more seasoned and hopefully can help you uh, should you have questions and so on. Again, looks like. Where I have I'm not sure why, but uh, hopefully uh, it'll resolve itself. Uh, the next thing is uh, collaboration, you know, and uh, what building a network does it allows you to collaborate with other like minded people. Just one second, please. Again, I apologize. It looks like uh, something is going on on my side here. Uh, oh. Bear with me. Uh, I'll be joining in a second. We just got a little technical issue here. So apologize. Uh, I don't know if this is the same issue on uh, on uh, Inst uh, Facebook and also on uh, also on YouTube. So let's just see if this uh, resolves its doing that. Uh, 